Hello and welcome back to our second video about combined elements or combined controllers. Last time I already said we're going to combine a P element again. Last time we combined it with an I element, now we combine it with a D element. And the resulting controller is of course called PD controller. PD is not the police department, it's a proportional and differential controller. PD controller. Zzzt. And exactly, exactly like the PI controller, it's a parallel of a P element and an I element. So the transfer function, the transfer function of a PD controller is the transfer function of an I controller of a P controller, sorry, P controller, plus the transfer function of the D controller. And this actually equals the transfer function of an P controller was KP plus the transfer function of the D controller was SDD divided by 1 plus ST1, the T1 element. Okay. Here we usually do the same trick, let's call it. Okay. We're getting out this KP, so we are ending up in KP multiplied 1 plus S, and now it's no longer TD, it's TV, 1 plus ST1. And this TV, this TV is TD divided by KP. These are the three things you can usually adjust at the PD controller. Proportional gain, so-called Vorhalter Zeit. I don't know the term in English, to be honest. Vorhalter Zeit. And then, of course, the time constant of the PT1, of the TT1 element, of the PT1, which is filtering the T element. It's time constant. These are the things we can adjust to the PD controller. It has exactly the same issues like a P and a D controller. Remember, I said the P controller is reacting fast at the beginning and in the end it does not care. And I said the D controller is reacting on changes only, and if there's no if there are no changes, it just don't cares. Yeah? So basically, this controller is not caring about the controlled variable at all. However, to, because of this D part, we can gain stability and we can control systems which are, might not be controllable without this PD controller. There are especially systems. They have maybe two integrational parts inside. Yeah? They're very hard to control. It's uh, summarizing and summarizing. Then this differential building might take away one summarizing. So on special, usually unstable systems, a PD controller fits perfect. Yeah? Fits perfect. This is why I'm telling you this. As a controller type now, yeah? this is not very, very uh, shiny, let's say. Yeah? Some special systems, perfect. PD control. And next time, finally, we're going to talk about a controller type, which is everything. Yeah? We're talking about a combination of all three controller types. We're talking about a PID controller. This will be done in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.